Well, hello there, and thanks for coming by and having tea with Linda and Spencer. Guess what? Today is Tea Bag Fridays. Ha <laughs> ha, stick around, we'll be right back. Let's take a look-see. Let's do something about the back wall here this time. Let's see what... Ooh. All right, we have Ruby Moon Herbal Tea from Magic Hour. Ooh! It's not Stephology for once! Ooh! All right, uh, we will need one of the press because this is loose. Uh, what kind of tea is that? Herbal. Herbal, so we need our Tassane. Yes. All right, we have grabbed our... Well used to saying tea maker. Let's move Pazuzu out of the way. Alrighty, so let's see. This is described as divine on ice. Ooh. Alright, caffeine free. Ingredients organic hibiscus, organic black currant, organic rose hips, organic cranberry fruit, organic elderberry fruit, and natural flavors. Interesting. At some point, I understand you have to be very. Ver verbose with your ingredients list, but at some point, can't you just say all organic and just put like an asterisk next to everything of or like um hib note. hibiscus asterisk, yeah, you know, I, black currant asterisk. I don't know. So if you'll remember, back several months ago, we um, reviewed a tea from Magic Hour. I believe it was Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, uh, and it was in that beautiful apothecary jar. So this is what their samples come in, um, and it's it, they have beautiful packaging. I mean, their boxes, their tissue paper, their packaging is just exquisite. Um, so from a packaging standpoint, their teas are amazing. Now, the Bohemian Rhapsody was phenomenal. Um, so I'm very excited to try this. I, I don't know how to describe that. It's a, it's a, it's a hibiscus smell. I don't know if I've ever really stopped to smell a hibiscus. Well, I mean, we make plenty of them. You should know what they smell like oh. in general. Let's see. How do we herbal, herbal, herbal over uh, 200 degrees, three to five minutes, one teaspoon for one cup. So, it's our... Lindar, for you to look at. Actually, we'll just kind of put it there so you can see, because you can't really see in the spoon, but now I've made a mess. I make a mess all the time. She has the same fervor for it, too. All right. How long were we supposed to steep? Three to five. All right. Hey, Siri, set a timer for four minutes. All right. So here's our three. Guys. Here's our three. Here's our five. It'll go between the two. If this is your first time at the channel, thank you so very much for coming by and spending a little bit of your time with Spencer and I. We really do appreciate that. My name is Linda. My name is Linda. I am a hot tea addicted porcelain loving potter who's obsessed with anything and everything that has to do with tea and of course Disney. I have mom armed my eldest son Spencer into joining me on this tea escapade to expand our palates, our minds, and sometimes our butts depending on what's in the tea. Spencer, how are you this Glorious morning. Worried Remy's going to be scratching the hell out of my ass. Why don't you pick the rimster up? So some of you may remember uh, the little puppy Remy. Remy has grown. He is... Oh, you have an eye booger. Let me get those. He is, let's see, uh, April, May, June, yeah. July, August, September, October. Remy is 
seven and a half months old at this point. Um, he is absolutely, he is just an awesome little guy. He really is. Remo T. Chalamet. Um, yes, yeah, Spencer and I, the husband named him Remy because he was born at Disney and Rat Patootie is his favorite Disney Ooh. or Pixar movie. Really? Um, but Spencer and I really? delightfully call him Remo T. Chalamet because it just fits him for some reason. Hey Siri, stop timer. All right, so our four minute timer has elapsed. Um, Spencer and I were commenting that this, this to say seems extremely dark. Um, so oh, we're gonna taste it as it is, um, but then we may have to uh, add some, add some fluid because it just, it's very dark. I mean, that may be how it's supposed to be though. I, I don't know. I've seen a lot of dark hibiscus teas before. I mean, maybe it's dark because of the uh, black currant as well. Well, you know, maybe I didn't. I mean, cranberry is not that dark. Well, I may not have put enough water in it to begin with. Cause look at our cups. Yeah, looks fine. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and add a oh. little bit. A lot of splash of cold water. Oh well, look at that. It doesn't. It doesn't change it. Okay. Well, this will be interesting. The cut. The color. The color is actually very pretty. I just had my um, Jesus moment. Turn water to wine. <laughs> it does look like a red wine. Only it is. It's got some translucency to it. Uh, it is a very pretty color. I would love to have a nail polish this color. Um, I'm not seeing any particulate. Um, the smell is very fruity. Yeah. Um, it, it just smells kind of, it smells like dried fruit to me. Oh, that's, um. Strong. Pungent. Um, Omnipresent. Numbing. Um, okay, so it tastes to me, well, it's a hot fruit tea. Um, so it automatically is not one of my favorites. And it tastes like hot cranberry juice, only not sweet, um, with a kick of a floral note. I'm not not enjoying it, but it is quite strong, and I think this would be amazing iced. Um, I think I think this would be lovely as an iced tea for the for well for anything actually. Um, just not really digging it hot, Spencer. That was a very strong. Uh, hibiscus flavor. I see. I'm getting more cranberry. That's all I'm getting. Strong hibiscus and nothing else. I mean, it's... I mean, I'm getting like a touch of cranberry as an aftertaste, but that's it. Hibiscus, orange currant, rose hips, cranberry, elderberry. The word is organic, not orange. <laughs> Did I say orange? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's early. I'm, I, I, anyway. I mean, I'm not hating it. No, I'm not hating it either. I just, I don't think, I don't think I like it hot. I think I would really like this as an iced tea. Well, yeah. Because it is, if it was iced, I think it would be a lot more refreshing. Don't buy it on ice. Well, see, there you go. Um, I love the color though. Yeah. Uh, between the cranberry and the hibiscus. This is, I mean, this is an absolute beautiful color. Um, the smell is interesting and I, I don't know how to describe it. Um, but absolutely, I think this would 100% be 1000% better. 100%, I think it would be 1000% better on ice.
Yeah. Anything else? No. All right. Well, thanks so much for coming by and spending some of your time with us. Uh, we really do appreciate it. Uh, <coughs> pardon me. We hope you have an amazing weekend and we look forward to seeing you Monday for the Bridgerton series. Bye.